my first just a brief one on APA Stalin 7 edition so we are going to cover inserting of page no, page number insertion they cover the abstract the keywords the introduction the body the conclusion and a brief reference so let us jump into the tutorial so here is a just a one i have all just organized and we are going to edit this document right now in the apa format so first of all here is our title of the page don't mind what i wrote here is for educational purposes so the title you can see the name of the writer the department of the course the writer is doing the university of the people the course code and the course name the instructor name the date the writer post the assignment the, all these things will be in the first page in the second page will be the abstract will be bold and the keywords and in the third page is going to be a repetition of the title introduction and the body and that comes to this point the conclusion if i can remove reduce these ones to the normal way you, you can see we have the uh, the sub heading level two and level one that kind of a thing you can see where the conclusion is and conclusion to the malaria which is the topic the writer writes and then the reference you can see it so let's start to format this first of all i have some couple of uh, already formatted uh, styles here but we have to you know examine them along while we are doing this particular formatting this particular document so first of all i take this one to the center you see it and then let's look into examine what is there you make sure you select this one you make sure that it, you select the radio button that the new document based on this template will be formatted in this way and then we go to format and then paragraph and inside it we make sure that the general alignment is centered and then under indentation left and right we put it zero and here special we put it zero and uh, no and then spacing we put the before and after we put it in zero pt zero pt and the line spacings we put it instead of the single we put it what double because in apa is double spaced click ok that is it now this one comes to the center i have already formatted one already i bring it to the center let's examine the content you see it is brought to the center you click here to bring it to the center you see the document you select the radio button and then you go to the paragraph to ensure that is everything in center there is special here there is nothing is none the indentation left and right is 0 cm 0 cm the spacing after and before and after is 0 pt and then here line spacing we put it double and then we click ok and click ok you can see how the document is perfectly formatted now the abstract comes to the center we use this already and the documentation about abstract if you look at it it is not indented it is left in that way the the key the keywords you you must have to internalize uh, it and make it bold 
and then we use the normal style for write our writing which is the normal one let's now format it we select the red and uh, the radio button so that the new documents based on this template will take this format and we go to the paragraph now here we are going to select first line to be 1.27 cm and select the spacing to be double as specified by the APA Stalin edition 7 and then alignment the general alignment must be left and we leave the outline level body to be body test this space here is okay indentation is okay we click okay we click okay you see the document has taken a shape we return this one back to its normal position we close gap here you see it's dented you can see now this this one's on the second page now on our third page we will repeat the title which is this one and we now go to our this one center and then our introduction must be aligned to left i've already formatted one already for introduction that is left board let's examine it you can see left board i select this one and go to the format i go to the listing the paragraph in a I select nothing I select here is none is this double spacing alignment general alignment is left and that is okay order the spacing before and after is okay I click it it's perfect this one has already um, edited now this is level one and level two the level one comes to the center and the level two comes to the left so we are talking about malaria but one thing is that i use mind map to organize my thinking that is logically to write this document and this is what what you see here you can see the mind map here it's about malaria the causes of malaria is number two the malaria malaria treatment is number three and number four is hospital where you have the private and the general hospital and each of these things has disadvantages so with this guideline i i use it to write my documentation logically so when you are writing a document you need, don't need to put this level one it has to be removed but this is level one malaria and this is level two we remove it up the document is well formatted now we move on this is another this stage the water stagnant water we have to put it what left side and this is the another one the bush left side and then you can see the document is well formatted up to this point you have to close all this area you have to close all this area now this is a level one uh, hospital treatment of malaria we need to remove this only I put this for educational purposes so I remove it this is level one the level two is this one must be flushed to the left which is this one level two I have to remove it too and now you write whatever you want to write about this particular here and this is general hospital again you put it in, this one is a, the uh, general you put it left and right also the content and then you close up here and this is the conclusion you put it in the center and then conclusion to the malaria you put it uh, to the left and then you write also what the content here you close up again this is reference comes to what to the center and now this is your documentation this is well documented that is the references you see it is it is going to be our next lesson on how to format this particular area so you can see our document is well formatted so name this page one now we can shift it to the page one we can put it page one we can now sh shift this one 
to H2 and then shift this one to page 3. How to do it is go to insert and oh my is not working here this one is missing if you click at this particular place it will give you a, a menu where you'll be, be able to take the numbers if you take the number three and it's going to number this in this way page one page two exactly how i put it here okay so our document is well formatted and then let's make a, a brief recap no before the a recap here i normally do some certain things when i want to change because these ones are going to be in alphabetic order a b c d e f g h so what i do when i'm writing with different something what i do i write i have to write a b c c d just like that d e f g h i j k l m n o p q r s t u v w s y z why i write this is to help me guide my my formatting of the word of the references understand how this one is interlaced and then the date you see how it is formatted and after i finish i remove it and close the gap so let's recap now now we can see what you've done the title the writer's name the department the university name the course code the instructor the date the abstract the keywords the repeating of the title the introduction the body conclusion and the reference and the reference list so in our next tutorial we are going to deal with all this in inter citation citing more than one author or multiple authors secondary citation video um, video and website uh, citation and uh, the reference list so guys good luck I wish you the best. If you have any comments, leave it below and subscribe to the the, the YouTube, my YouTube, so that you'll be able to receive notification when I'm going to root this coming um tutorials. Thank you for watching. Bye.